To say that Wu-Tang have revolutionized the keyboard scene would be an understatement. With the release of Rapid Trigger and the 60HE, Wu-Tang have absolutely made a name for themselves in the keyboard space, and ever since then every single major keyboard company has been trying to recreate the software that Wu-Tang has been providing for gamers. And with the release of features like Rappy Snappy or SnapTap, or also known as SOCD, people have been wanting to get a Wu-Tang keyboard more and more. Now since the release of the 60HE, people have been wanting a bigger layout of Wu-Tang and keyboard and it also slightly improved in terms of switches and sound. Which is why at the start of the year, Wu-Tang has revealed their new product by the name of the ATHE. This was arguably the most hype up keyboard release of this year and since last month it has been officially released to the public and people have finally managed to try it out for themselves. And because of all of the mentioned before, I did want to try out the ATHE for myself to see what's the hype all about this keyboard and whether or not it is worth buying the keyboard. Before I do get started with the keyboard review, I do want to say that this video is not sponsored. Yes, Wooting indeed sent me the keyboard themselves for review purposes. However, that will not change my opinion about the product in any way, shape, or form. But all that being said, let's get into the unboxing of the ATHE. This right here is the box of the Wooting ATHE. The Wooting have put some interesting details into the box. Like, for example, you can see the keyboard itself on the box that is entirely made out of the word Wooting. And if you don't know what that means, well, just take a look at this picture, for example. On the back of the box, it says, You with us challenging the industry and if you start opening the box you'll see a little heart right there. Once you open the box you'll see the Wooting itself with a dust cover and of course some accessories. First things first is the USB cable which comes with a USB A to C adapter so if you really want to just plug in the keyboard using USB C you can do that as well. But also in general the cable is pretty high quality. After that you get a pretty big Wooting bag which includes more accessories like for example extra keycaps if you really need them, some extra screws, keycap and a switch puller are two and one which is something that a lot of people have been asking from Wooting to include in the box and with the release of the ATHE now they do some extra liquor v2 switches one of which is the l45 the other ones are the l60s and after that instead of Wooting including kickstands on the keyboard itself they decided to make them rubberized so that you can put or remove by yourself in which they come into different heights this is something pretty useful to have especially if you want to play with the keyboard at a higher angle which me personally i do so it is a nice touch from them in the box you also get a warning as to how you're supposed to put the switches in the keyboard and of course the keyboard itself. I specifically got the PCR black version of the Wooting ATHE. Plugging in the keyboard you get some really bright and nice RGB and Wooting never disappoints when it comes to RGB stuff. This specific version is a plastic build and it's an 80% and in general it looks pretty clean. Wooting also decided to put a light indicator on top of the arrow keys. This can be used for a lot of stuff but me personally I use it to see how deep I'm clicking the switches. As you can see from the example in the background. Now the keyboard itself inside is built out of a silicone sandwich pad and gasket mount. It has a PCBA, PET film tape mod, of course there's foam inside, it includes screw-in stabilizers and it includes the new Liquor V2 L60 switches, which of course come pre-looped. And with all that combined it gives the keyboard a pretty nice sound and in general a good typing experience. Speaking of which, here is the sound test of the keyboard. I personally like the sound of the keyboard, but do let me know in the comments what you think. When it comes to the software, I mean, do I have to really say it's Wooting? There's really no problems with it. The software is built into the browser. It is very simple and easy to use with its layout. For the rapid trigger settings, of course, you can use from 0.1 all the way to 4 millimeters rapid trigger. You can also enable tachyon mode, but do keep in mind that if you do enable it, the brightness of the RGB will be lowered a bit. And when it comes to the 8K pulling rate that this keyboard also has that I forgot to mention previously, it is noticeable and it does make a bit of a difference but it's not as much as you would think. Something that I also like from the Wooting software is the fact that you can set different presets to your liking, whether that is for casual use, for FPS gaming or just in general for Osu. Now when it comes to Osu, this keyboard is really really comfortable to play on and they fixed something on this keyboard that my boy Birch has been complaining about on the 60HE and that is the fact that they removed the hump in front of the keyboard. Yes, they finally removed it, you can place your thumb 
jump comfortably there and actually play the game. And of course, there's no complaints about the Rapid Shaker since Wooting themselves is the inventor of Rapid Shaker, so of course, you can expect the best of the best. Here is some gameplay or scores that I've set using the Wooting ADHE. Now, the Wooting ATHC also comes with SOCD, Rappy Snappy, and DKS. However, I really have to say this, but do not use any of these features for Osu. Just like Clodafoe, you will be banned from Osu for using these features. As for other games, Snappy Tappy would be very useful for stuff like Overwatch or Valorant, but for third person shooters like the newly released Renova, for example, I tried using SOCD on it and I also asked Kerry about how his experience has it been to use SOCD on stuff of like Screenova for example, and well in general it's not really that useful. With all that being said, do I recommend the ATH -E? Now in general, if you get this product, you will not be disappointed whatsoever when it comes to its performance. At the end of the day, you are buying a booting product. However, the questionability of this product is the price itself and the build that you get. Like I previously said, this is a plastic build, which comes at around 200 euros without tax or shipping. Now if you don't mind the plastic build in general, and you just want the best possible performance out of a keyword, then I do recommend that you get the ATHE. But I would also like to mention that if you already have something like a 60 HE, then I don't see the need to upgrade to the ATHE unless you're planning to get the Zinkawi version or you just want an 80% keyboard. That being said, if you do decide to buy this keyboard for yourself, you will not be disappointed from it at all. However, how will the ATHE compete with the other keyboards on the market is the real question because at this point, price point there are keyboards with slightly better build quality but it is definitely hard to find a keyboard that has better performance than the Wooty. But yeah that's in general my review on the ATHE. What do you think of it? Do you think that you will be getting this product or you will maybe look out for other options? Let me know down in the comment section. Be sure to sub to the channel if you want to see more reviews or maybe stay updated with the also community. But until then I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.